Are you looking to explore the most famous island in Thailand? Like water sports, day trips, water activities, and nature explore. The 11 best things to do in Koh Phi Phi Island you will find here, right now. Stay until the end, and I assure you the most interesting places that you cannot miss once you are in Koh Phi Phi. This is the ASEAN cruise we took from Phuket Pier to Phi Phi. The journey takes around 2.5 hours. The cruise was empty as you can see, the month we chose was great. As you approach you start getting exciting with the stunning views coming up. Number 1. Your ideal stay. The best area to stay in Phi Phi Island is Tun Sai Village, offering many shops, restaurants, beach access, and great hotel options, from luxurious hotel and resort to the more affordables. We arrived and started walking around until finding our best place without pre-booking. Look how cute this hotel. And honestly stay local to explore all the village around. Let's go for number 2, let's leave the main island, Ko Phi Phi is where locals live are and where you'll stay. So let's explore other islands. Get ready for a full day trip with 8 stops around the Phi Phi Islands by long tail boat tour or speed boat. Please do not forget the sun cream, you will need it for sure. You will see crystal clear turquoise water and admire the wonderful marine. My recommendation is to take a long tail boat. The tour include food, refreshments and snorkeling equipment. It will be an unforgettable day at sea. Enjoy a day of freedom in paradise. If you stay overnight in Koh Phi Phi, please have the experience of the night snorkeling with plankton. Is a magic time that you won't forget ever in your life. Number 3. Night Walk in Koh Phi Phi. Stay at least one night. A day trip to Phi Phi will not give you the real experience if you not stay a night to see the scene of lively and energetic island. The nightlife in Phi Phi Islands brings the island to life. Tun Sai West is the quietest part of the area, while Lo Dalam, Tun Sai Village and Tun Sai East are excellent for those who want a lively area to stay on the island. Fifi offers beachside parties, the beach club lets you dance on the yellow sands. And open-air parties. There are fire shows in front of the bar every night. Resort pool parties. Mechanical bull you can ride on for a change from dancing on the beach. And many bars and nightclubs. For a more experience, Reggae Bar is the place to go. This bar is home to the island's only Muay Thai kickboxing stadium, where you can watch exhibition matches. Number 4. Snorkeling. Explore the stunning sea life. You will do snorkeling on your boat trip. An expert captain steers you to both famous locations and hidden coves, stopping so you can snorkel, splash off the boat, and soak in the scenery on gorgeous scenarios. Number 5. Monkey Beach. One of the most interesting places to visit on Phi Phi Island has to be Monkey Beach. This beach in Thailand is literally filled with playful monkeys, where else in the world can you find that? Monkey Beach lies near Koh Phi Phi Island, on the west coast. Home to wild monkeys, this beach is one of the best snorkeling spots in Thailand. The surroundings of white sand, lush limestone cliffs, crystal clear water present beautiful scenery. The monkeys live in the mountains and have figured out that where there is people there is likely to be food. So please don't feed the monkeys, don't bring any food, drinks or backpacks onto the beach and don't litter. The peak tourist season is between November and April, considered the ideal time to visit Phi Phi. Number 6. Watch the sunset. There is several spots, you can watch the stunning sunset from Koh Phi Phi Beach, sitting on the sand facing the Andaman Sea and you're in paradise. Those who prefer to be more comfortably seated may choose a drink at a beachfront bar during sunset or book a boat tour that includes seeing the sunset from the water. Number 7. Making new friends. Spending a full day on a boat trip you will get to know new people. After the boat trip we enjoy dinner all together. Number 8. Walking and hike. Kofifi is so small that you can walk everywhere. Take some time during a day to explore the island. The most popular walk is up to the Y point, takes less than an hour, offering a spectacular view of Koh Phi Phi. Wear comfortable shoes, sun cream, sunglasses. Number 9. Kayaking. You can visit the other islands by kayak, long tailboat or speedboat. We rent a kayak on Lo Dalam Beach and kayak to Monkey Beach which is on the left side of the bay or Nui Bay. 
Bring with you your snorkels as there is some very good snorkeling and swimming in both places. It takes around 25 minutes to Monkey Beach and 45 minutes to Nui Bay. Monkey Beach is accessible only by boat or kayak from Phi Phi Don. There is no entrance for cars and an absence of roads leading to it. We had a great experience paddling from Low Dalambia, Phi Phi, until Monkey Beach, to enjoy a sunset on an amazing summer day. The sky wasn't the more spectacular as other days but anyway it was stunning. Monkey Island in Phuket is a small cove located on a peninsula on Koh Phi Phi Don, the larger of the two main Phi Phi Islands. If you still not subscribe please hit the button for more videos. Also help me with a big like. I appreciate your support. Thanks. Please do not forget to subscribe. Well, we only stay two nights in Koh Phi and I regret. I would say four nights will be great. Well, to finalize, let's check the last two places that you cannot miss once you are in Phi Phi, and for me, the best of all of them. Number 10. Maya Bay. One of the most famous and photogenic places in Thailand. Leonardo DiCaprio made the movie The Beach on this island, it was thronged by millions of tourists looking to experience this piece of heaven. It was my dream come through and I completely made it. I recommend going in the morning. If you would like to take photos it's a great time around 10 am, there is not a lot of people. Super cute and beautiful nature walk that leaves you the beach. It's a walk of few minutes. 2.5 million tourists visited the bay in 2018, with over 5,000 estimated visitors every day. If you know that Maya Bay is less than 300 meters wide, you also know that these are a lot of tourists on a very small piece of beach. The coral and marine life was seriously affected by the enormous popularity. As a result, Maya Bay was closed by the government of Thailand for almost four years, reopened in 2022, hoping to give the coral and wildlife some time to recover. The tourists can only stay on the island for one hour from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., with a maximum limitation of 300 visitors per round. It is plenty of time to explore the beach, take pictures, and dip your feet in the water. Swimming and snorkeling isn't allowed at Maya Bay anymore, also boats are no longer allowed to directly enter the bay. But most boat tours will include a stop in nearby Pile Bay where swimming and snorkeling is permitted. The beach and the bay are truly magical, with white sandy beach, the sand is the softest we have found so far, the sea is shallow with clear turquoise water, and the immense limestone cliffs in the background add a magical touch to the atmosphere. Maya Bay is in southern Thailand. The beach is located on a small uninhabited island named Koh Phi Phi La, it is protected by National Park. Most of the visitors to Maya Bay are day trippers from Krabi, Phuket and Phi Phi Don. Number 11. Bamboo Island. This island is a stunning tropical hotspot that offers the perfect getaway from crowds. I am totally awestruck by the beauty this beach has to offer. I have never seen such beautiful beach in my life. The island is shaped almost like a heart, and is surrounded by a strip of amazing white powder fine sand and turquoise mild warm sea. Its central part is covered with lush vegetation, including bamboo trees. Bamboo Island is one of the highlights of 5 best islands around Phi Phi and 10 best snorkeling spots in Phi Phi. Bamboo Island offers great snorkeling, stunning photos, and magnificent scenarios. The island stands a notable coral reef known as Hin Klang, which provides visitors with the sensation of swimming in an aquarium. Thanks for staying until the end. I hope you all appreciated the content. Subscribe for more.